Rotary International is an international service organization whose stated purpose is to bring together business and professional leaders in order to provide humanitarian service and to advance goodwill and peace around the world. It is a non-political and non-sectarian organization open to all people regardless of race, color, creed, religion, gender, or political preference. There are 34,282 member clubs worldwide, and 1.2 million individuals, known as Rotarians, have joined. Rotarians usually gather weekly for breakfast, lunch, or dinner to fulfill their first guiding principle to develop friendships as an opportunity for service. It is the duty of all Rotarians, states their Manual of Procedure outside their clubs, to be active as individuals in as many legally constituted groups and organizations as possible to promote, not only in words but through exemplary dedication, awareness of the dignity of all people and the respect of the consequent human rights of the individual." The Rotarian's primary motto is, "...service above self." Its secondary motto is, "...one profits most who serves best." Philosophy The object of Rotary is to encourage and foster the ideal of service as a basis of worthy enterprise and, in particular, to encourage and foster the development of acquaintance as an opportunity for service. High ethical standards in business and professions, the recognition of the worthiness of all useful occupations, and the dignifying of each Rotarian's occupation as an opportunity to serve society. The application of the ideal of service in each Rotarian's personal, business, and community life. The advancement of international understanding, goodwill, and peace through a world fellowship of business and professional persons united in the ideal of service. This objective is set against the Rotary Four Way Test, used to see if a planned action is compatible with the Rotarian spirit. The test was developed by Rotarian and entrepreneur Herbert J. Taylor during the Great Depression as a set of guidelines for restoring faltering businesses and was adopted as the standard of ethics by Rotary in 1942. It is still seen as a standard for ethics in business management. The four-way test considers the following questions in respect to thinking, saying or doing. Is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Will it build goodwill and better friendships? Will it be beneficial to all concerned? Topic History Topic The first years of the Rotary Club The first Rotary Club was formed when attorney Paul P. Harris called together a meeting of three business acquaintances in downtown Chicago, United States, at Harris' friend Gustav Lair's office in the Unity Building on Dearborn Street on February 23, 1905. In addition to Harris and Lair, a mining engineer and Freemason, Sylvester Sheila, a coal merchant, and Hiram E. Shorey, a tailor, were the other two who attended this first meeting. The members chose the name Rotary because initially they rotated subsequent weekly club meetings to each other's offices, although within a year, the Chicago club became so large it became necessary to adopt the now common practice of a regular meeting place. The next four Rotary clubs were organized in cities in the western United States, beginning with San Francisco, then Oakland, Seattle, and Los Angeles. The National Association of Rotary Clubs in America was formed in 1910. On November 3, 1910, a Rotary Club began meeting in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, the beginning of the organization's internationality. On the 22nd of February 1911, the first meeting of the Rotary Club Dublin was held in Dublin, Ireland. This was the first club established outside of North America. In April 1912, Rotary chartered the Winnipeg Club marking the first establishment of an American-style service club outside the United States. To reflect the addition of a club outside of the United States, the name was changed to the International Association of Rotary Clubs in 1912. In August 1912, the Rotary Club of London received its charter from the association, marking the first acknowledged Rotary Club outside North America. It later became known that the Dublin Club in Ireland was organised before the London Club, but the Dublin Club did not receive its charter until after the London Club was chartered. During World War I, Rotary in Britain increased from 9 to 22 clubs, and other early clubs in other nations included those in Cuba in 1916, Philippines in 1919 and India in 1920. 
In 1922, the name was changed to Rotary International. By 1925, Rotary had grown to 200 clubs with more than 20,000 members. World War II era in Europe Rotary clubs in Spain ceased to operate shortly after the outbreak of the Spanish Civil War. Clubs were disbanded across Europe as follows Netherlands, 1923, Finland, 1926, Austria, 1938, Italy, 1939, Czechoslovakia, 1940. Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania, Poland, Yugoslavia and Luxembourg 1941. Hungary 1941-1942. Rotary Internationals has worked with the UN since the UN started in 1945. At that time Rotary was involved in 65 countries. The two organizations shared ideals around promoting peace. Rotary received consultative status at the UN in 1946-47. Topic. From 1945 onward Rotary clubs in Eastern Europe and other communist regime nations were disbanded by 1945–46, but new Rotary clubs were organized in many other countries, and by the time of the national independence movements in Africa and Asia, the new nations already had Rotary clubs. After the relaxation of government control of community groups in Russia and former Soviet satellite nations, Rotarians were welcomed as club organizers, and clubs were formed in those countries, beginning with the Moscow Club in 1990. In 1985, Rotary launched its Polio Plus program to immunize all of the world's children against polio. As of 2011, Rotary has contributed more than 900 million US dollars to the cause, resulting in the immunization of nearly 2 billion children worldwide. As of 2006, Rotary has more than 1.2 million members in over 32,000 clubs among 200 countries and geographical areas, making it the most widespread by branches and second largest service club by membership behind Lions Clubs International. The number of Rotarians has slightly declined in recent years. Between 2002 and 2006, they went from 1,245,000 to 1,223,000 members. North America accounts for 450,000 members, Asia for 300,000, Europe for 250,000, Latin America for 100,000, Oceania for 100,000, and Africa for 30,000. Rotary International Presidents 2001–present Richard D. King Bichai Radakul Jonathan B. Majiagbi Glenn E. Estes Sr. Carl Wilhelm Stenhammer William Boyd Wilfred J. Wilkinson, 2007-08; Don Kern Lee, 2008-09; John Kenny, 2009-10; Ray Klingensmith, 2010-11; Kalyan Banerjee, 2011-12; Sakuji Tanaka, 2012-13; Ron D. Burton, 2013-14; Gary C. K. Huang, 2014-15; K. R. Ravindran, 2015-16. John F. Germ, 2016-17. Ian H. S. Risley, 2017-18. Barry Rasson, 2018-19. Topic: Other notable past presidents. Paul P. Harris, 1910-12. Clinton Presba Anderson, 1932-33. Herbert J. Taylor, 1954-55; Nitish Chandra Lahiri, 1962-63; Richard L. Evans, 1966-67; Luther H. Hodges, 1967-68; Sir Clem Renouf, 1978-79; Carlos Canseco, 1984-85; Royce Abbey, 1988-89. Topic. Organization and administration 
In order to carry out its service programs, Rotary is structured in club, district and international levels. Rotarians are members of their clubs. The clubs are chartered by the global organization Rotary International headquartered in Evanston, Illinois. For administrative purposes, the more than 32,000 clubs worldwide are grouped into 529 districts, and the districts into 34 zones. Topic. Club The Rotary Club is the basic unit of Rotary activity, and each club determines its own membership. Clubs originally were limited to a single club per city, municipality, or town, but Rotary International has encouraged the formation of one or more additional clubs in the largest cities when practical. Most clubs meet weekly, usually at a mealtime on a weekday in a regular location, when Rotarians can discuss club business and hear from guest speakers. Each club also conducts various service projects within its local community, and participates in special projects involving other clubs in the local district, and occasionally a special project in a sister club in another nation. Most clubs also hold social events at least quarterly and in some cases more often. Each club elects its own president and officers among its active members for a one-year term. The clubs enjoy considerable autonomy within the framework of the Standard Constitution and the Constitution and Bylaws of Rotary International. The governing body of the club is the club board, sometimes called club council, consisting of the club president who serves as the board chairman, a president elect, club secretary, club treasurer, and several club board directors, including the immediate past president and the president elect. The president usually appoints the directors to serve as chairs of the major club committees, including those responsible for club service, vocational service, community service, youth service, and international service. Rotarians may attend any Rotary club around the world at one of their weekly meetings. District level A district governor, who is an officer of Rotary International and represents the re board of directors in the field, leads his, her respective Rotary district. Each governor is nominated by the clubs of his, her district, and elected by all the clubs meeting in the annual re district convention held each year. The district governor appoints assistant governors from among the Rotarians of the district to assist in the management of Rotary activity and multi club projects in the district. Topic. Zone level Approximately 15 Rotary districts form a zone. A zone director, who serves as a member of the RE Board of Directors, heads two zones. The zone director is nominated by the clubs in the zone and elected by the convention for the terms of two consecutive years. Topic. Rotary International Rotary International is governed by a board of directors composed of the international president, the president-elect, the general secretary, and 17 zone directors. The nomination and the election of each president is handled in the one to three year period before he takes office, and is based on requirements including geographical balance among Rotary zones and previous service as a district governor and board member. The International Board meets quarterly to establish policies and make recommendations to the overall governing bodies, the RE Convention and the RE Council on Legislation. The Chief Operating Officer of RE is the General Secretary, who heads a staff of about 600 people working at the International Headquarters in Evanston and in seven international offices around the world. Membership. <inaudible> <inaudible> According to its constitutions, charters, Rotary defines itself as a non-partisan, non-sectarian organization. It is open to business and professional leaders aged 18 and upwards, with no regard to economic status. One can contact a Rotary club to inquire about membership but can join a Rotary club only if invited. There is no provision to join without an invitation as each prospective Rotarian requires a sponsor who is an existing Rotarian. Some clubs, though not all, have exclusivist membership criteria. Reputation and business or professional leadership may be a specific evaluation criterion for issuing invitations to join, and representation from a specific profession or business may be limited to a percentage of a specific club's membership. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Active membership. Active membership is by invitation from a current Rotarian to professionals or business persons working in diverse areas of endeavor. Each club may limit up to 10% of its membership representing each business or profession in the area it serves. The goal of the clubs is to promote service to the community they work in, as well as to the wider world. Many projects are organized for the local community by a single club, but some are organized globally. <laughs> Honorary membership Honorary membership is given by election of a Rotary Club to people who have distinguished themselves by meritorious service in the furtherance of Rotary ideals. Honorary membership is conferred only in exceptional cases. Honorary members are exempt from the payment of admission fees and dues. They have no voting privileges and are not eligible to hold any office in their club. Honorary membership is time limited and terminates automatically at the end of the term, usually one year. It may be extended for an additional period or may also be revoked at any time. Examples of honorary members are heads of state or former heads of state, scientists, members of the military, and other famous figures. <laughs> Female membership From 1905 until the 1980s, women were not allowed membership in Rotary clubs, although Rotarian spouses, including Paul Harris' wife Jean, were often members of the similar, inner wheel, club. Women did play some roles, and Jean Harris made numerous speeches. The author of the biography of Dale Carnegie, Carlos Roberto Basila, describes that in 1955 when women were not permitted to attend Rotary meetings, the Brooklyn Rotary Club made an exception and finally allowed Marilyn Burke, Carnegie's secretary, accompany him in a lecture inside the Rotary. In 1963, it was noted that the Rotary practice of involving wives in club activities had helped to break down female seclusion in some countries. Clubs such as Rotary had long been predated by women's voluntary organizations, which started in the United States as early as 1790. The first Irish clubs discussed admitting women as members in 1912, but the proposal foundered over issues of social class. Gender equity in Rotary moved beyond the theoretical question when in 1976, the Rotary Club of Duarte in Duarte, California, admitted three women as members. After the club refused to remove the women from membership, Rotary International revoked the club's charter in 1978. The Duarte Club filed suit in the California courts, claiming that Rotary clubs are business establishments subject to regulation under California's Unruh Civil Rights Act, which bans discrimination based on race, gender, religion or ethnic origin. Rotary International then appealed the decision to the U.S. Supreme Court. The re attorney argued that the decision threatens to force us to take in everyone, like a motel. The Duarte Club was not alone in opposing re leadership. The Seattle International District Club unanimously voted to admit women in 1986. The United States Supreme Court, on 4 May 1987, confirmed the Californian decision supporting women. In the case Board of Directors, Rotary International v. Rotary Club of Duarte. Rotary International then removed the gender requirements from its requirements for club charters, and most clubs in most countries have opted to include women as members of Rotary clubs. The first female club president to be elected was Sylvia Whitlock of the Rotary Club of Duarte, California in 1987. By 2007, there was a female trustee of Rotary's charitable wing the Rotary Foundation while female district governors and club presidents were common. Women currently account for 22% of international Rotary membership. In 2013, Anne L. Matthews, a Rotarian from South Carolina, began her term as the first female vice president of Rotary International. Also in 2013, Nan McCready was appointed as the first female president of Rotary International in Great Britain and Ireland The first woman to join Rotary in Ghana, West Africa was Hilda Dankwa Rotary Club of Cape Coast in 1992. The first woman president in Ghana was Dr. Nana Aguman Mensa in 2001 Rotary Club of Accra Airport. Up until 2013, there has been 46 women presidents in the 30 Rotary Clubs in Ghana. 
In 2013, Stella Dongo from Zimbabwe was appointed district governor for District 9210 Zimbabwe, Zambia, Malawi, Northern Mozambique for the Rotary year 2013-14 making her the first female district governor in the region. She had previously held the offices of Assistant Governor 2006-08, District Administrator 2008-09 and President of the Rotary Club of Highlands 2005-06. She was also Zimbabwe's country coordinator 2009 Stella, who is a Master PRLS 5 graduate has been recognized and awarded various district awards including Most Able President for Year 2005-06 and Assistant Governor of the Year 2006-07 and a Paul Harris Fellow. The change of the second Rotarian motto in 2004, from He profits most who serves best, to They profit most who serve best. 99 years after its foundation, illustrates the move to general acceptance of women members in Rotary. <laughs> Racial and sexual orientation diversity The first Rotary clubs in Asia were in Manila in the Philippines and Shanghai in China, each in July 1919. Rotary's office in Illinois immediately began encouraging the Rotary Club of Shanghai to recruit Chinese members, believing that when a considerable number of the native business and professional men have been so honored, the Shanghai Club will begin to realize its period of greatest success. As part of considering the application of a club to be chartered in Kolkata, then Calcutta, India in January 1920 and Tokyo, Japan in October 1920, Rotary formally considered the issue of racial restriction in membership and determined that the organization could not allow racial restrictions to the organization's growth. In Rotary's legislative deliberations in June 1921, it was formally determined that racial restrictions would not be permitted. Non-racialism was included in the terms of the Standard Constitution in 1922 and required to be adopted by all member clubs. Rotary and other service clubs in the last decade of the 20th century became open to gay members. <laughs> <laughs> Affiliates Rotary clubs sponsor a number of affiliated clubs that promote the goals of Rotary in their community. Inner Wheel Clubs Inner Wheel is an international organization founded in 1924 to unite wives and daughters of Rotarians. Inner Wheel Clubs exist in over 103 countries. Like Rotary, Inner Wheel is divided into local clubs and districts. Female spouses of Rotary members are traditionally called Rotarians. Topic. Interact Interact is Rotary International's service club for young people ages 12 to 18. Interact clubs are sponsored by individual Rotary clubs, which provide support and guidance, but they are self-governing and self-supporting. Club membership varies greatly. Clubs can be single gender or mixed, large or small. They can draw from the student body of a single school or from two or more schools in the same community. Each year, Interact Clubs complete at least two community service projects, one of which furthers international understanding and goodwill. Through these efforts, Interactors develop a network of friendships with local and overseas clubs and learn the importance of Developing leadership skills and personal integrity Demonstrating helpfulness and respect for others Understanding the value of individual responsibility and hard work Advancing international understanding and goodwill is one of the most significant and fastest growing programs of Rotary service, with more than 33,000 clubs in more than 200 countries and geographical areas. Interact has become a worldwide phenomenon. Almost 340,000 young people are involved in Interact. Topic: <laughs> Rotaract. Rotaract, a service club for young men and women aged 18 to 30 with around 215,000 members in 9,388 clubs in 176 countries. Rotaract was founded in 1968 by Charlotte North Rotary Club, located in Charlotte, North Carolina. Rotaract clubs are either community or university-based, and they are sponsored by a local Rotary club. 
This makes them true partners in service and key members of the family of Rotary. Rotaract stands for Rotary in Action. Topic: <laughs> Rotary Community Corps. The Rotary Community Corps RCC is a volunteer organization with an estimated 157,000 non-Rotarian men and women in over 6,800 communities in 78 countries. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Programs. Rotary concentrates on six areas, promoting peace, improving health through disease prevention and treatment, improving the health of mothers and children, water and sanitation, education, and economic development. RYLA RYLA, or Rotary Youth Leadership Awards, is a leadership program for young people aged 14 to 30 across the globe that aims to unite and provide resources for future leaders. Polio Plus The most notable current global project, Polio Plus, is contributing to the global eradication of polio. Sergio Mulich D. Palmenberg (1923–1987), Governor of Re District 204 (1984–1985), founder of the RC of Treviglio and Pianora Bergamasca, Italy, was the man who inspired and promoted the Re Polio Plus vaccination campaign. Mulich made it possible shipping the first 500,000 doses of anti-polio vaccine to the Philippines at the beginning of 1980. This project later gave rise to the NGO. Nuovi Spazi al Servir, coordinated by Luciano Ravaglia, RC Forli, Italy. Since beginning the project in 1985, Rotarians have contributed over $850 million and hundreds of thousands of volunteer hours, leading to the inoculation of more than 2 billion of the world's children. Inspired by Rotary's commitment, the World Health Organization WHO passed a resolution in 1988 to eradicate polio by 2000. Now a partner in the Global Polio Eradication Initiative GPEI with WHO, UNICEF and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Rotary is recognized by the United Nations as the key private partner in the eradication effort. In 2008, Rotary received a $100 million challenge grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Rotary committed to raising $100 million. In January 2009, Bill Gates announced a second challenge grant of $255 million. Rotary again committed to raising another $100 million. In total, Rotary will raise $200 million by 30 June 2012. Together, the Gates Foundation and Rotary have committed $555 million toward the eradication of polio. At the time of the second challenge grant, Bill Gates said, we know that it's a formidable challenge to eradicate a disease that has killed and crippled children since at least the time of the ancient Egyptians. We don't know exactly when the last child will be affected. But we do have the vaccines to wipe it out. Countries do have the will to deploy all the tools at their disposal. If we all have the fortitude to see this effort through to the end, then we will eradicate polio. There has been some limited criticism concerning the program for polio eradication. There are some reservations regarding the adaptation capabilities of the virus in some of the oral vaccines, which have been reported to cause infection in populations with low vaccination coverage. As stated by Vaccine Alliance, however, in spite of the limited risk of polio vaccination, it would neither be prudent nor practicable to cease the vaccination program until there is strong evidence that all wild poliovirus transmission has been stopped. In a 2006 speech at the Rotary International Convention, held at the Bella Center in Copenhagen, Bruce Koek stated that polio in all its known wild forms would be eliminated by late 2008, provided efforts in Nigeria, Afghanistan, Pakistan, and India all proceed with their current momentum. As of October 2012, Nigeria, Afghanistan, and Pakistan still had wild polio, but it had been eliminated in India. In 2014, polio survivor and Rotarian Ramesh Ferris met with the Dalai Lama to discuss the Global Polio Eradication Initiative. The meeting went viral via a selfie taken by Ferris with the Dalai Lama.
Topic: <laughs> Exchanges and scholarships. Some of Rotary's most visible programs include Rotary Youth Exchange, a student exchange program for students in secondary education, and the Rotary Foundation's oldest program, Ambassadorial Scholarships. Today, there are six different types of Rotary scholarships. More than 38,000 men and women from 100 nations have studied abroad under the auspices of Ambassadorial Scholarship, and today it is the world's largest privately funded international scholarships program. In 2006–07 grants totaling approximately $15 million were used to award some 800 scholarships to recipients from 69 countries who studied in 64 nations. The exchange students of Rotary Club Munich International publish their experiences on a regular basis on Rotary Youth Exchange with Germany. In July 2009 the Rotary Foundation ended funding for the cultural and multi-year ambassadorial scholarships as well as Rotary grants for university teachers. Rotary fellowships, paid by the foundation launched in honor of Paul Harris in 1947, specialize in providing graduate fellowships around the world, usually in countries other than their own in order to provide international exposure and experience to the recipient. Recently, a new program was established known as the Rotary Peace and Conflict Resolution Program which provides funds for two years of graduate study in one of eight universities around the world. Rotary is naming about 75 of these scholars each year. The applications for these scholarships are found online but each application must be endorsed by a local Rotary Club. Children and other close relatives of Rotarians are not eligible. Topic. Rotary Peace Centers Starting in 2002, the Rotary Foundation partnered with eight universities around the world to create the Rotary Centers for International Studies in Peace and Conflict Resolution. The universities included International Christian University Japan, University of Queensland Australia, Institut d'études politiques de Paris Sciences Po France, University of Bradford UK, Universidad del Salvador Argentina, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill US, Duke University US, and University of California, Berkeley US. Since then, the Rotary Foundation's Board of Trustees has dropped its association with the Center in France at the Paris Institute of Political Studies, the Center in Argentina at the Universidad del Salvador, and the Center in the U.S. at the University of California. In 2006, a new Rotary Peace Center at Chulalongkorn University Thailand began offering a three-month professional development program in peace and conflict studies for mid-level and upper-level professionals. In 2011, the Rotary Peace Center at Uppsala University Sweden was established and began offering a two-year master's program in peace and conflict studies. Up to 100 Rotary Peace Fellows are selected annually to earn either a Professional Development Certificate in Peace and Conflict Studies or a Master's Degree in a range of disciplines related to peace and security. Each Rotary Peace Center offers a unique curriculum and field-based learning opportunities that examine peace and conflict theory through a variety of different frameworks. The first class graduated in 2004. As with many such university programs in Peace and Conflict Studies, Questions have been raised concerning political bias and controversial grants. The average grant was about $75,000 per fellow for the two-year program and $12,000 per fellow for the three-month certificate program. Literacy programs Rotary clubs worldwide place a focus on increasing literacy. Such importance has been placed on literacy that Rotary International has created a Rotary Literacy Month that takes place during the month of March. Rotary clubs also aim to conduct many literacy events during the week of September 8, which is International Literacy Day. Some Rotary clubs raise funds for schools and other literacy organizations. Many clubs take part in a reading program called Rotary Readers in which a Rotary member spends time in a classroom with a designated student, and reads one-on-one -on -one with them. Some Rotary clubs participate in book donations, both locally and internationally. As well as participating in book donations and literacy events, there are educational titles written about Rotary clubs and members, such as Rotary Clubs Help People, Carol is a Rotarian by Rotarian and children's book author Bruce Larkin and Rota's Rescue. 
by Maine author Barbara Walsh in conjunction with Rotary Club of Waterville, Maine's Rhoda Reed's early literacy program. Publications Rotary International publishes an official monthly magazine named The Rotarian in English first published in 1911 as The National Rotarian. Other periodicals are independently produced in more than 20 different major languages and distributed in 130 countries. See also List of Rotarians Topic Notes Topic Further reading Charles, Jeffrey A. nineteen ninety three Service Clubs in American Society, Rotary, Kiwanis, and Lions. University of Illinois Press ISBN 978-0252020155. In his 2008 thesis, Brendan Goff notes that this book is the only complete treatment of service clubs in academic literature. Goff, Brendan M. 2008. The Heartland Abroad: The Rotary Club's Mission of Civic Internationalism. ProQuest, UMI Dissertation Publishing. Goff's 2008 doctoral dissertation, which departs from Charles's earlier work in its emphasis on the international aspects of Rotary International. Lewis, Sue Lin. Rotary International's Acid Test, Multi-Ethnic Associational Life in 1930s Southeast Asia. Journal of Global History, 7 July 2012, 302-34. Baziraki, J.B. et al. 2013. The Role of Rotary Clubs in Post-Conflict Peace Building, A Case of Northern Uganda 2006 International Letters of Social and Humanistic Sciences. This was a published extract from a 2013 master's dissertation in Peace and Conflict Studies from Makerere University in Kampala, Uganda. External links Official website Rotary International in Great Britain and Ireland official website Canadian Rotary Collaboration for International Development official website Rotary Club of the Philippines Rotarians of Amateur Radio, ROAR, the International Fellowship of Rotarians of Amateur Ham Radio